factors in this view has been an attempt to reduce the cost that the authority incurs in many, many aspects of it. Um, and we were fortunate um, uh, to find the particular property we did. Uh, and we've done the analysis that I've done indicates that in present value of ours, um, the last um, projecting um, on the conservative side, $208,000, sorry, $230,000 uh, of economic benefit for us projected over a 20 year period of time. Uh, these and that's a reduction to present day value. Uh, that, that's correct. It is a it's present value analysis, uh, 20 years looking at the rents that we're paying. Um, it is conservative and that we have not escalated the rents um, as would be, the, as, as our history the, uh, has been. Um, you know, for the property, typically you know, there are escalations in rents over, over years, um, making some assumptions about the value of this building and the impact of the year. Well, if you will, speak to us about the escalation of rents <clears throat> presently from a historical vantage. Well, we, we started out in 1999 when we first leased the building. We were paying $2,340 a month um, for that. Now, the first year was a teaser rate. You know, we got in. Um, second year, um, it went up $3,150. It stayed there for three years. Uh, then it went up to um, $3,375 for three. Then it went to... What was the percentage increase? What well, uh, you know, a 7% increase, um, uh, not counting that first teaser rate in there. That, if you threw that one in there, that's a 35% increase. Sure. There was a, um, you know, there was some consideration for us to do in at that point, and some incentives to do that. But we're looking at a 7 percent, um, 8.65 percent increase, uh, 9 percent increase. So about every three years, there was a um, there was an increase, and we moved from 99, 2,340 dollars a month to our current um, rent amount of 4,270 dollars a month. Now during that time, during for those increases, I think we added another office back there in the back. We took a little bit more space in. Um, uh, we took over the maintenance, if I'm not mistaken, of some of the, of, of the ground because we had a particular way that we wanted to do that. But um, um, my projection is based off of the current number, four thousand two hundred seven dollars a month. Okay. Any questions, members of the board? Comments? No questions, comments? I solicit the motion, Mr. Paul. You're the chairperson okay. of this yeah. building search I'll just, I, I think you, you stated our, our history pretty well, but the one thing I would add is once we've got the location determined, then the due diligence had to follow for, you know, it's, it's this this location proper. Well, you, you're the real estate guy. Tell us about the due diligence. I want to make sure everybody really understand the depth and the breadth of the diligence that yeah. went into this it search. Was, it was it was thorough. Mr. Ricketts did a very good job of the due diligence, um, and, and he was always ahead of uh, the next question. He always had the answer before the next question came because he had already done his research. Anyway, you know, been been to the city as far as uh, building permits uh, for the renovation and the addition, then to uh, engineering firms for uh, flood zone, we're, we're clear of all that. We've got the appraisal issue out of the way. Uh, there's stormwater retention is, a, you know, the existing plan that they have there for that development. Our, if we add some impervious surface and the rooftop counts as an impervious surface, their stormwater retention plan will accommodate our plan. And so, um, you know, you just, you just go down the list of all the things that you do as a developer or as a, you know, any kind of a builder, and uh, it's been done and everything uh, checked out permanently. So and as a developer, you're comfortable with this? Yes. When Alan's done with his tenure at the, uh, at the Industrial Authority in 10 or 12 years, whenever it may be, I'm going to see if he'll be looking for some more employment. Yeah, but he did a very <laughs> thorough job. I'm very impressive. <coughs> well, you know it. One, one comment I'd like to make about it is the cost savings, but it's also a great investment if we ever decide to move if something comes up and we want to do something different, then we won't lose money. We'll gain the value there, and that's the subject I can And it's buttressed by a hub of construction and economic activity now, so I'm really comfortable with this. Anyone else? Is good? Yes, sir. All right.
Well, I'll make the motion that um, to the board and to the chairman that the purchase of 103 Roosevelt Drive, Valdosta, Georgia, for a price of 510,000, subject to the current owner completing the construction of the adjacent detention pond, installation of a paved road and parking lot, including curb and gutter, and granting to the authority at closing a perpetual, transferable, non-exclusive easement over, across, and upon the adjacent property of the seller for the purpose of overflow parking and in ingress and egress. I'll second. second. I have a motion, second. Any further discussion? Saying that there's none, questions called. All in favor, signify by raising the right hand. It's unanimous. Um, 